Piano. Proper posture is so important because I can avoid getting tired or sore when I do practices or performance to my body. A good posture also makes me able to play piano very well. So, proper posture is the key. Make sure you sit in the middle of the bench. Just keep the golden middle. Not too low, not too high, not too close, not too far. The Make sure you're not sloped. Sit nice and tall with a nice straight back. And relax your shoulder. Put your hands on the piano. Elbows should be a little bit forward than waistline. If our elbow is one line with waist, we have to move backward a bit. You don't want straight arms when you are playing. Your knuckle here straight with your forearm. You know you are doing right when you can balance a ruler on it. Once you have decided to make the piano your best friend, you have to cut your nail regularly. Make sure your fingers are curved around just like you catch the ball. And you press the key with the tip of your fingers. Your knee just below the piano. And you know, for kids body size like us, we need an adjustable chair. Or we can stuck up something to the regular bench like this. For me, I did this cushion for my piano teacher since I was 2 years old. And my mom add one rubber mat under the cushion. So, they will move slight of each other and be quite steady. Okay, upper body done. Now, how about our feet? Feet on the floor. And of course, again. Usually, the side of the chair is taller than our feet. You can use pedal extender. But for me, it's digital piano. So I use two to put my feet and make it stable. Don't let your feet tangling because it's not ideal for us to play. At least, we are resting our feet on something. If you do those things later, your body will feel more comfortable every time you 